Hey guys, welcome to our YouTube channel. Today we are going to solve our skill track daily challenge using Python programming language. Before going to logic, if you didn't subscribe to our channel, then subscribe right now and make our work more meaningful. First, we'll understand our question. The program has to accept the two strings that is P and S. P represents the pattern and the S represents set of words. The question mark in P can match any character and we must print the word in yes which matches P. We have also given a note that if two or more words match P, we must print the first occurring one. So we must accept two string values that is P and S. Yes where P represents the pattern and S represents the set of words. The question mark in P can match any character that is P contains some question marks and we must print the word in S which matches P. We have also given a note that if two or more words match P, we must print the first occurring one. Now we'll take our first case. So this is our P that is pattern and these are the set of words. Now we'll separate them for understanding. So in the first word you can see the length are uh, same but the case is different that is here it is small and here it is in upper case so here it is no and here the length that doesn't match. So here also it is no. And here the length also matches also the characters that is i and i and n and n. So we'll print this and break the loop. So why we are breaking the loop? Because we must print only the first occurring one. So here we'll break the loop. You can see that uh, in the fifth character we'll have fifth word we have i and n, but since we must print the first occurring one, we'll stop here. So this will be our output. Now we'll take our second test case. So here we have. The set of words now for the first word the length is uh, same but uh, when we check about the characters that is b b uh, r and r then we have i then we have g but we don't have e in the word so it is no then here the length is different so since the length doesn't match here it is no and here also the length doesn't match so here also it is no here the length is same also the character can be replaceable so it is b b r and r then we have O K E N. So this will be our output.
So the key logic of this program is first we have to check the length of the pattern and the length of the words so if they are equal means we have to check the character at same index other than question mark if the characters at the same index matches with the word means we have to print that word and break the loop else we must continue now let us implement our program first we'll get the pattern as the string and we'll get the set of words input of dot split off so here we have used split off so that it will be easy to iterate over the number of words and then now we'll have a for loop for word in yes if the length of word is equal to equal to the length of p means that is if the length matches then we'll have our another condition that is first for that we'll have a flag is equal to true and for index in range length of p if p of index not equal to question mark that is it is a character and p of index not equal to word of index means that is in the character in that specific index is not equal to the character in that word means we must change the flag variable to false and break the loop so if the flag is, we must print word and break the loop so first we'll accept the two string values and for word in yes we'll check the length of p and word so if they are equal then we'll move then we'll have the flag is equal to true for index in range the length of p will iterate and here if the p of index not equal to question mark that is if it is a character and that character is present in word means that is it is not present in that word means flag is false and we must break the loop then here we'll print the word and break the loop so let us execute our program we'll pass our first test case so here we have got the correct output that is lion so let us execute our second test case so here also we have got the correct output our program has passed all our given test cases successfully Hope you guys understand. Thanks for watching. See you next video.